Good morning. <clears throat> I hope you guys are well. Don't mind my hair. That's how it is in the morning. Um, I slept well, better than last night, or the, the night before. Uh, my body kind of acts weird and seems to uh, get rid of a lot of water the last few days, so uh, which makes me to wake up. But that's that's okay. Happens. It's not always the case. But so that's that. <coughs> It's a little later uh, this morning than usually. Uh, I slept in be uh, because I wanted to give my body time to recover, but also because it got late uh, last evening. In case you read the video description of the previous vlog, you saw that after I finished everything, I got a text message from a guy I met at the gym and he asked me if I want to uh, have a few drinks with him and one of his buddies even though I felt quite tired and was more ready to go to bed I said to myself oh, well let's let's go that's one of the things you aim to do in Frankfurt really being more social being more spontaneous uh, and uh, going going out a little more so that's what I did. Uh, they, we, we had a cool bar, they tried out a few uh, interesting beers. I, I stuck to water because I knew the moment I had some alcohol I would fall asleep. But I was fine. Uh, they dealt well with it. Uh, no, they had no, no problem with me doing this. So that's, that's cool. Yeah, and we talked a lot. That was fun. Afterwards, uh, they went home, I went home, talked a little more to my wife, and yeah, now here we are. Did some meditation already, now I will have uh, breakfast, and then I will hit the gym and see what I can lift today. So, i let you know later how it went. Hello, I just got back from the gym, and... I'm really exhausted and tired, but feeling uh, energized uh, simultaneously. It was really a lot of fun, uh, but also <laughs> a lot of hard work. I uh, managed to PR in my, my lifts, which means I back squatted today the first time 100 kilos. Uh, for five sets of five and it was the first time I did 100 kilos uh, in what kind of setup and uh, the first two sets I think it was I did without a belt and then things got heavy and uh, I wanted really to finish strong and I put on my, my powerlifting belt uh, for the first time and uh, finished uh, strong uh, Felt great. Later on, next I did overhead presses at 42 and a half kilos. I don't think I ever did that much. And uh, yeah, uh, the first one or two uh, uh, sets, I have to look, I'm not sure. I managed to pull out five reps, but then it just got too heavy and I took longer breaks and managed to do four with good form in the end I uh, took also my, my belt strapped it on to help and stabilize but that's that's good it was fun and uh, lastly I did uh, one one set of five reps of uh, conventional deadlift at 117 and a half kilos that definitely was also a new personal record I did this one without a belt just uh, straps for my my for the grip because uh, I get sweaty palms and have not necessarily enough uh, grip strength yet. I'm working on that, so that worked. That was great. Uh, it was also it felt great to to peak after I think 
four five weeks of doing this five weeks program uh, now it's time to eat recover chill relax enjoy the the day it's sunny blue sky that feels great i will will share what i eat today um, uh, in in the vlog a little bit but make sure to uh, go to the description and go to my instagram channel and uh, check it out there too and yeah now i have to get ready for my brunch so I, i'm hungry <laughs> so just finished preparing my big, big brunch looking forward to it going to channel my my inner son goku today or continue to channel it uh, i did so uh, at the gym and i will now follow up with uh, food going to show you what uh, i have to eat or will eat uh, it's a typical brunch a little bit of everything uh, coffee jam chocolate spread butter bread rolls eggs looking forward to them it's the same ones i i bought last week some serrano ham here some honey uh, while watching catching up on uh, a few things online so that's part one let's see what else will follow today okay so I am done with the first round of eating and now I will follow up on my shredded chicken as I told you yesterday. Yeah, here it is and uh, what really you need to do now is you get it out and uh, you, you take it apart. If you did it properly you will see that this falls apart here we are easily you just can take off the bones just like that that's the general idea so now you take take everything apart and uh, that's done uh, i show you the next step so I just finished uh, taking the chicken apart. Yeah, this is pretty much how it looks. Here are the chicken breasts. Here is all the remaining meat. And this is everything that's bone, cartilage, skin, you name it. Uh, and here is the chicken broth, in which I cooked in yesterday, as you can see there's already a lot of flavor in it and in order to get more flavor in the chicken broth you add simply everything that is not meat in it and you let this boil for at least half an hour uh, and then uh, or longer if you want to you can also let it boil for an hour two three four depending how, how much time you have or feel like it and uh, once uh, you boil the the bones and the skin and everything for a while you can take them out and uh, if you feel like it you can reduce uh, the broth even further you can add whatever you want uh, vegetables uh, meat uh, I don't know drink it like this uh, either way it's a very uh, cheap dish uh, because the, the, the whole chicken doesn't really cost much you get a lot of flavor into the broth uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, there are a lot of nutrients in it uh, the dish is fat uh, and uh, a lot of meat uh, what I want to add, if you have a look at the meat here um, or here, you can see it's really done. 
if I push harder, it would fall apart. And in case you are afraid that your your chicken might not be done, the moment you can, uh, the moment it's really falling uh, off the bone or the the, the the different parts are getting out of the joints, uh, then you can be quite sure that it's done. Because otherwise uh, you could not just like that take it apart. So don't be afraid. You can eat it cold like this. You can warm up the, the the meat again you can throw it later on back into the soup and make a chicken soup like this add uh, udong noodles or others and make some ramen whatever you feel like and uh, enjoy this uh, broth hello so back in the kitchen now it's a couple hours later I let uh, lightly slightly cook my broth. Uh, in the meantime, I well, relaxed, took an Epsom salt bath, we worked a little bit my lower back because it felt really tight. And uh, yeah, now I'm giving you a quick peek to, to my broth and how it looks now. So here we are. It really reduced down to a lot. Uh, I hope you can I can see this. It's pretty much down to a force of, of what it was initially. Uh, the color looks uh, very, very promising. It smells incredibly delicious. Wish I could share it. Uh, the best way to share this with you is the video and just uh, 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 copy the recipe. It's really easy. It takes a lot of time, but you don't have to do a lot for it so it's a lot of passive time so that's quite convenient so I hope you enjoy this uh, feel free to share and let me know what you think of this hello here we are again last cut for this evening for today for this vlog I hope you enjoyed it I hope you had a fun weekend I did even though it was different than expected uh, it was good and having this quiet downtime and this gym time uh, seemed to be what I needed uh, yeah let's see how I will manage studying now the next two weeks will be somewhat hard but I will find a way somehow uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, it will be a fun day, <clears throat> especially in the late afternoon and uh, the evening as I will go on a team event uh, with my with the team. Uh, if, I, uh, if nothing has changed, it should be uh, an escape room event and dinner afterwards, so never done an escape room challenge basically so just uh, curious to see how it it will be uh, I will uh, make sure to let you know uh, tomorrow and until then I wish you a good night have fun make sure to subscribe I really would like to have you on board uh, make sure to check out my Instagram account and uh, have a look at my food diary of today all the links uh, are below in the in the video description if you have any questions maybe about uh, the um, white cut chicken let me know uh, ask uh, in the comment section i will do my best to let you to give you my feedback my my knowledge my know-how and yeah see you tomorrow